Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, I am once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comment section of one of my videos. And if you wish to see something of yours shown on this channel, just leave me the link somewhere and I'll eventually get round to it. So for the day, we're looking at another transport vessel. And this one is called the Emergency Transport Frigate. And I believe an enemy has just spawned, yes, there's quite a few mining carriages around here. Let's ignore them and hope they don't come close. But as I was saying, this is the Emergency Transport Frigate, a lovely base vessel for you to fly around and to deliver goods to wherever it needs to go. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, the Emergency Transport Frigate is only 1,427 large blocks, using no DLC blocks and no modded blocks. So we're going to start by taking a quick look around the outside and then we're going to fly around with it and perhaps go say hello to one of those pirate vessels that just spawned in. So at the very front here, this is our bridge. We get one little seat at the very front and you might be able to see two control seats at the back there, flight seats even, that are there to control the turrets. We have a Gatlin gun that sits just below to make sure you don't get blasted by rockets. And as we move around the side, we've got some lovely block work. We've got great use of the battered armoured skin in the grey silvery colour and the orange looks very nice. We also have then a light on the side. All the lights on this ship have been done very well. They're not just the standard default light scheme where they've just been slapped on and left. They've actually been altered and have a very nice glow. But you'll see more of that on the inside. So on the side here, this is our hangar door where we can get a reasonably sized ship in and out if you wanted to. We also have plenty of guns surrounding this hangar door, two on the top, one on the side, to make sure no sneaky pirate tries to come and dock inside. As we move along towards the back, we once again got some more lovely lights and a small window for you to peer inside at all the gubbins of the ship. Now this is slightly different on the opposite side, because that window has been replaced by a doorway, a doorway that you can use to get inside to a secondary cockpit and flight seats just in case the front got blown to pieces. There's a little sign up there saying emergency cockpit. Let's just come back out there and go and look at our thruster pods. So at the very back, we've got a bunch of hydrogen thrusters. We've got a bunch that just hang off the side of the ship and some attached to the main body. And this is all of them at the back. Having all these large hydrogen thrusters mean we can go exceptionally fast and that looks like that pirate is coming closer. So we might have combat very, very soon. Yes, as I was saying, these thrusters allow you to go very fast and the thruster distribution around the ship is very even, allowing you to move and stop at a very good pace. But as for the thruster pods themselves, this is how they've been set up. You get four large hydrogen thrusters at the back, with some lovely block work just holding them in place. We've got three on the top, and then we've got none on the bottom. We have six to help us stop. For the main body, we've got three on the side there. If I was to drop down past how it's been held together, we didn't have a bunch more hydrogen thrusters underneath. So coming along the bottom here, we can see all the hydrogen thrusters that are going to allow us to pull away from a planet or pull away from a station. The conveyors are a little bit exposed, but then again, we've got plenty of guns on here and it's not too much of a big deal if they did get blown up because there's plenty of thrusters elsewhere. And as we move towards the front, there is our little turret to protect our bridge. If we were to come all the way up and above where I'm standing, you've got a little cross there in the orange blocks. We've got some more turrets that have been set down a little bit, which is very nice because turrets are quite an annoying block to place down because of how big their placement box actually is. So that makes it look very nice and neat and allows you to access all that and get a sneaky look down there where you can just cower from all the enemies that are just bombarding your ship. And as we move along here, we can just see the tops of our air vent. And as we move across, we've got a conveyor junction there and another top of the air vent. Now, this is the only thing I don't quite understand on this ship. It's like there's something missing, say like a oxygen farm. So I don't know whether an oxygen farm was meant to be there or a modded block. I didn't get any prompts for any modded blocks. I mean, that could work quite nicely sitting like that. Anyway, as we come to the back, we do have a raised fin with some orange spikes coming off the back of it. And once again, we got some more lights going around. 
and that's a very brief around the outside. It does look fantastic, especially from the back when all those thrusters are firing. It makes for a glorious screenshot. Yes, we can come have a sneaky look inside here if you want to do. This is just where the hydrogen tank is being stored. We can come around and have a little sneaky look around at all the conveyors everywhere. But enough of that. Let's go and head on inside by taking control over my character. So as I shoot earlier, we had a doorway on the side, which is where we're going to start, because it's going to be at the very back of our ship. So opening up this doorway, there's no double door in here, but we don't generally need to worry about that unless you're short on ice. A gravity generator to make sure we don't float away. We just look up and above at this little turret to come and greet us if we're an enemy, and we can see all the gyroscopes and how this ship is going to be working. We have our emergency cockpit and emergency flight seats which are to control the turrets, and we've got two passenger seats inside here just in case you need them. I won't go over these cockpits just yet because they're the same as the ones in the front, but we can walk all the way round up these steps to a large cargo container for us to store our goods in that needs to be transported. We've got some batteries around here, we've got a lovely ominous glowing light down here just shining down on our light controls so we can control our exterior lights our spotlights, which is the one above there. We then got our lights for the interior, and then the emergency cockpit lights, which are the ones right over there. We then walk around on the opposite side of our large cargo container, where the cockpit's sitting right over there. We just come to a raised part, where we have a survival kit and a small cargo container for you to deposit whatever you want in. So where our door was on the opposite side, we have a window to view out our oncoming fire. Other than that, we can just walk all the way back around to here and then just head up to this bit right here. So in here is a little overview of our hangar. And this is what I was talking about with the lights. It's a great color light in here. I don't know why, it just makes everything look very bronzy and quite ominous, yet cozy at the same time. But yeah, this is just a small little area for you to overview what's going on and to report to your captain if a intruder has boarded you. But coming back out of there and walking all the way around, we can come down to the doorway that will take us to our hangar bay. So this is our hangar. Like I said, we can get a reasonably sized ship in here. A more longer ship and thinner body will be perfect for this ship. But something like a Dex fighter, if I was to find that and just spawn it in, would be a pretty good fit. So yeah, we could probably fit a Dex fighter in there if we were to clip off the little wings on the side. We've got a connector in the middle to snap ourselves onto. I've got an air vent up there which will pump this place full of oxygen. If I was just to come around to here, we do have some controls for the hangar doors. Where we can open it up and let people in, close it up and lock them inside if you wanted to. Then got a button for the connector lock on and off, and then a button for the lights. Towards the front going to our proper cockpit, we have another interior turret just to encourage you to behave. So we can walk all the way up to here to our front cockpit where we've got a fantastic view out at this lovely skybox. I can't remember what skybox this is called, but I'll leave a link to it in the description below when I go through the game's files. So around here we've got two little flight seats which are all for controlling the Gatling guns manually if you wanted to. That's the same with that seat over there. Coming around to this we've got our control seat which is a bloody fantastic block. Lots of screens, lots of buttons, I wish I could press them all at the same time and hope nothing explodes. But for our proper controls, we only have a few things to do because this is largely a passive ship where the turrets are going to be doing the work for you. Number two is to lock or unlock our connector in the hangar and number three is to open and close a hangar door. It might be hmm, Imperial Excavators, okay. As I was saying, it might be a good idea to maybe have number one to be a camera to view inside the hangar, just so you're not opening the door up to some pesky pirate, or you're going to accidentally unlock something when you shouldn't. And then number eight and nine are to control the lights around the ship. And that is that. So now it's time for a small thruster test. So going forwards, we have one hell of a lot of speed. That was just instant. I think it was less than a second to go from zero to 100 meters a second. That is amazing. So here we go again. Bit more than a second really, but that is some incredible speed to get away from your enemies. Stopping as well is bloody fantastic for a fairly large ship. And then going left and going right, we're quite slow, which is pretty reasonable for a large ship. Going down, we're quite fast. And going up, we're really fast. 
As for the mouse control, this is what we get. It's pretty decent. I was kind of hoping there was a pirate over there, but I think that was the mining company. Yes, we've got some pretty good control over this ship. There is a fair amount of weight, but it is not too overbearing. And we can do some precise movements if we wanted to. Let's go and say hello to that private sail over there. Oh, no, let's go and say hello to the rust freighter over there and blast them with our turrets. Now, as we're getting closer to this space pirate, one thing I will mention is that we do burn through our hydrogen at a alarming rate, really. But because of how fast we can actually move, how fast our speed goes from 0 to 100, we can just turn off our dampeners and glide along. So you can see I've burnt through, like... 80% of our hydrogen just coming over to this freighter over here, but I really did not need to do that. I could have just left it and let it glide over. And that is one big ship. I forgot how big these things are. But come on, turrets. Open fire. There goes the cockpit. Time to retreat to the rear cockpit. Getting all the way through, all the way around to here. This is our emergency cockpit. Thank God you put this in here. Let's just turn around and try and get back to that pirate. I'm kind of hoping the turrets are going to be able to deal with their turrets. And there we are. We're going to clamp into them, I think. Oh, that was a narrow escape. Now we just need to come around and try to maybe not crash into them. But I'm going to anyway. There we go. That was nice. That should disable them a fair bit. Quite a lot. Oh my god. Oh, he came back for more. Wow. Okay, we're merging with them. But no. Let me just come out of there and fly away. So that was pretty good. The guns did disable them, but of course the space pirates still have AI control over the ship. And because of my silly little crash, we kind of scraped a hole through the side. So you can now see a perfect cutout of the interior. But other than that, that is basically it for the emergency transport ship. It's a lovely design. I love how the thrust has been set up at the back and it seems to handle combat pretty decently. So it'll be in the description below if you want to download and play around with it yourself. I highly recommend you do, and I'll be back with another showcase video some point soon. Bye bye.